In this video we will demonstrate how to configure an Indra drive with safe motion. SMO, using only safe torque off, STO, function with safe stop 1, SS1, category 1 stop and no other safe motion functions. Use the links below the video to download the software tool IndraWorks DS which is used to configure the Indra drive, a PDF that includes the starting parameter file, and product documentation. These are example architectures using different series of Indra drive. The safe motion configuration is identical across all Indra drive series or platforms. Here are the safe motion options for the cabinet free technology Indra drive MI series. Here are the safe motion options for the cabinet Indra drive series. The following firmware and software options are required. We will begin with the general Indra drive configuration. Save the parameter file. STO only starting parameters are 1.par. To a known location on the PC, for example desktop. Connect to Indra drive with IndraWorks. Expand axis 1 default. Safe motion not active. Functionally blocked, default, commissioning. Then double click, serial commissioning. Click on, copy of an axis, one to one copy. Click, select parameter file. Select file, STO only starting parameters are 1.par, then click, open. Select, only load image of safety technology parameters, then click, next. Click, next, to start parameter load process. When the file is done loading, click the identify safe motion button. Follow the instructions to ensure the parameters were loaded to the correct axis then click apply axis identifier. After axis identifier is applied, click OK. The serial commissioning load parameters process is completed, click exit. Click X to close the serial commissioning window. Now we will configure the safety bus communication. The target UNID or slave address for all safety bus communications is assigned in three steps. First, enter the target UNID or address, then click Write. Second, verify the target UNID or address then click Apply. Third, click Confirm Target UNID Address button. Expand Axis, 1, Default Safe Motion, Locked, STO Axis. Commissioning. Configuration. Safety bus communication. Then double click, type and addressing. Click the checkbox to confirm this is the axis to be parameterized. Click OK. After type and addressing window is opened, use the pull down menu to select the desired safety bus communication protocol. When changing the safety bus communication protocol, you will be prompted for the SMO password. If the parameter file STO only starting parameters are 1.par was used, then enter Rexroth. Then click on Unlock SMO. If this file was not used, then the user will need to create a password. Click Yes on the Change Parameterization Level pop-up window. Click Yes on Go to Configuration Mode pop-up window. The following examples are shown for SIP safety on Circos. Failsafe over EtherCAT. Profi safe over ProfiNet. SIP safety over Ethernet IP. HSC zone module, and local IOX41. The first example that will be shown is SIP safety on Circos. Enter the desired safety device ID, SDID. Click right target UNID button. Confirm target UNID value is correct in verification display area, then click apply. Confirm target UNID button is now active. Click confirm target UNID button. Click yes to assign the target UNID for this axis. SIP safety on Circo's target UNID is completed. Failsafe over EtherCAT is the next example that will be shown. Enter desired FSOE slave address. Click Write FSOE slave address button. Confirm FSOE slave address value is correct in verification display area then click apply. Confirm FSOE slave address button is now active. Click confirm FSOE slave address button. 
click yes to assign FSOE slave address for this access. Failsafe over Ethercat slave address is completed. The configuration for Profi Safe over Profi Net will now be shown. Enter desired Profi Safe F device address. Click Write Profi Safe F device address button. Confirm Profi Safe F device address value is correct in verification display area. Then click Apply. Confirm Profi Safe F device address button is now active. Click Confirm Profi Safe F device address button. Click Yes to assign Profi Safe F device address for this access. Profi Safe F device address is completed. SIP safety over Ethernet IP will be shown next. Safety device ID, SDID, should be automatically copied from master communication screen. These values must match. Do not change safety device ID, SDID, on this screen. Click, Write Target UNID button. Confirm Target UNID value is correct in verification display area. Click Apply. Confirm Target UNID button is now active. Click Confirm Target UNID button. Click Yes to assign Target UNID for this access. SIP Safety on Ethernet IP Target UNID is completed. Safety PLC Programming Example will be shown next. The Indra Drive requires two signals to be set high in the SMO control word from the Safety PLC for normal operation. Bit 0. Mode Selection Signal, MS, and Bit 1. Emergency Stop Signal, SMES. In this example the Emergency Stop Signal, SMES, bit will be used to transition in or out of STO. These are the SMO control word bits. These are the SMO status word bits. This is a programming example using a safety PLC. The configuration for HSC zone module will be shown next. Open, type and addressing. Select, safe motion without safety bus communication. Open, safety zone and door locking, then select, access is zone master, or, access is zone node, depending on where the access is in the zone network. Configure other options for your application. The Indra drive requires two signals to be set high, one, in the SMO control word from IO mapper for normal operation. Bit 0. Mode selection signal, MS, and bit 1. Emergency stop signal, SMES. In this example the emergency stop signal, SMES, bit will be used to transition in or out of STO. The example shown is using IO mapper with HSC zone module. The configuration for X41 local IO will be shown next. Open, type and addressing. Select, safe motion without safety bus communication. Open, safety zone and door locking, then select, access acknowledges safety independently, no zone node. If X41 local IO is going to be used, then these inputs must be configured under, signal control of inputs. If X41 local IO will be used as the dynamization source, this will need to be configured under signal control of outputs. The Indra drive requires two signals to be set high, one, in the SMO control word from IO mapper for normal operation. Bit 0. Mode selection signal, MS, and bit 1. Emergency stop signal, SMES. In this example the emergency stop signal, SMES, bit will be used to transition in or out of STO. This example shows IO mapper with local IO. Error reaction configuration will be shown next. The following steps are only required if the error reaction on the standard firmware side have been modified from factory default. If the error reaction on the standard firmware side has not been changed from factory default, the following steps can be skipped. Expand Axis, 1, Default. Safe Motion, Unlocked, SCM, STO Axis. Commissioning. 
parameterization. Then double click error reaction. Click apply for SMO to copy the error reaction from the standard firmware. Confirm values are correct in verification display area, then click apply. Once the changes are applied, the window shows no more exclamation marks. Error reaction configuration is complete. Exiting SMO configuration and parameter modes will be shown next. The axis configuration for STO is now complete. Right click on safe motion, unlocked, SCM. STO axis, then select exit SMO configuration mode, SCM. Once SMO configuration mode, SCM, has been exited, click OM. The axis is now in operating mode. We hope you enjoyed this video on how to set up an Interdrive with Safe Motion for Safe Torque Off. Thank you for watching.